So in this video, we are going to learn how to convert text to speech from Google Sheets and upload file in Google Drive. Now, if you're also tired of using multiple platforms or applications for generating speech or audio files from the text, then this one automation is going to help you a lot. So in this automation, as we are going to add some new text in our Google spreadsheet as a new row with some details, automatically for the same text using VoiceMaker, we are going to convert that text into speech and generate an audio file out of it. And after generating the audio file, automatically we are going to upload the same audio file in our Google Drive and the link of that Google Drive file will be uploaded back in the same sheet in the same row as well. Now, if you want to learn how you can set up this automation all by yourself, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Google spreadsheet. In this Google sheet, I'm going to enter some details. Like what is the text I want to convert into speech over here? For what text I want to generate the audio file? Then what will be the name of the newly generated audio file? That what will be the language of the audio? The voice ID. So we are going to use a platform called VoiceMaker over here. And in VoiceMaker, if you refer to the API doc, you will see there are different voices inside VoiceMaker. So which particular voice we want to use for our audio file, for our transcribed audio, you can just select it. So I have added some of the voices in this dropdown, also added some of the languages which are supported by VoiceMaker. And all of these details are mentioned on the API doc of VoiceMaker over here. So you will get a link of this API doc in the description box below. And by referring to that link, you can just access this doc and create these dropdowns in your Google Sheet. Also, I've added a status column over here, where I have two options, the status as draft and generate audio. Now I want that whenever I'm going to change the status of any of this text in the Google Sheet, any of the row in Google Sheet as generate audio, using this automation, I want to generate the audio file. I want to generate the speech for the same text which we have entered in our Google Sheet using VoiceMaker. And the new audio file or the speech audio file which we are going to generate using VoiceMaker, we want to upload that same file into a specific folder of our Google Drive. And the link of the file which we have uploaded on Google Drive will be updated in our Google Sheet in the same row in this audio file URL column. Now to do this, we have to connect all of these applications. We have to connect our Google Sheet with VoiceMaker and Google Drive. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Public Connect to do so. Now to access Pabbly Connect, just go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y pabbly.com slash connect. And we will reach to Pabbly Connect's landing page. Here you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Now, if you're new to Pabbly, by clicking on this sign up free button, you can set up your free Pabbly Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you're an existing Pabbly user, just click on sign in. After signing in, we will reach to this all apps page of Pabbly. And here we just have to click on access now below Pavli Connect. After clicking on access now, we will reach to Pavli Connect's dashboard. And here we have to create an automation workflow. Click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I'll name it as Google Sheets to VoiceMaker to Google Drive. You can basically give any other name of your choice. Then after that, after naming our automation workflow, just select the folder of your Pavli Connect account in which you want to set up this automation and then just click on create over here. Now, as you click on create here, you can see the automation workflow will open in front of us. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is, first we have to connect our Google spreadsheet with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. So that whenever we are going to add a new row of data, new text, new file name, language, voice ID, we add all of these new details in a Google Sheet in a new row, the same details should be sent to Pavli Connect. And then if we get the status of this particular data or status of this particular row as generate audio, in that case, only we are going to continue this automation and send this text to VoiceMaker to generate the speech or the audio for it. If we are going to select the status of this particular row as draft over here, in that case, what we are going to do? In that case, we are not going to basically send this detail. We are not going to send the data or the text to VoiceMaker and generate the audio file. Only if we select the status as generate audio, then using this automation, we are going to create the audio out of it. So we are going to first connect our Google Sheet with Pavli Connect in the trigger step, and then we are going to set up the filter condition for the status of that particular text or that particular data which we have received. Then if the status is generate audio, we are going to send the same text which we have received from Google Sheet with the file name, language, and voice ID to VoiceMaker. 
and using VoiceMaker, we are going to generate the audio, the speech for the same text which we have given. And in response, we will get the MP3 file or the audio file link. And in the next step, using the same automation in our Google Drive, we are going to upload the same audio file as well. So let's see how it is done. So here in our trigger step in Choose App, search for Google Sheets. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets in Trigger Event from this dropdown, select the Trigger Event as New or Updated Spreadsheet Row. Then after selecting a Trigger Event, Pabli Connect gave us a webhook URL. And using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Google Spreadsheet with Pabli Connect and receive the data of a new row. Now to add this webhook URL in our Google Sheets, we just have to follow the instructions given below over here. Just copy the webhook URL from here and go to your Google Sheet. After coming to the Google Sheet, just go to Extensions, Add-ons and click on Get Add-ons. And after clicking on Get Add-ons, we will reach to Google Workspace Marketplace. And here in Search app, we have to search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. Now here you can see Pabli Connect Webhooks. This add-on is already installed in my Google Sheets. You just have to install this same add-on into your own Google Sheets account. And after installing it, just refresh your Google Sheets once. This is a very important step. After refreshing our Google Sheet, once again go to Extensions and here you can see Pabli Connect Webhooks, this add-on. Just hover on it and click on Initial Setup. And after clicking on Initial Setup, this box will appear in front of us. And it is basically asking us three things. Selected Sheet, Webhook URL and Trigger Column. Now here in Selected Sheet, we have to select the spreadsheet from which we want to send the data of new row to Pabli Connect. So it is most likely possible that in your Google Spreadsheet, you might have created multiple sheets over here. And the data of a new row from which particular sheet we want to send to Pabli Connect, we have to select that. Then after that, it is asking us for the webhook URL. And as you can guess, we have to enter the exact same webhook URL which Pabli Connect gave us. Just copy it from here and then paste it over here. Then after that, it is asking us for the trigger column. Now you must be thinking, what is this trigger column? So the trigger column is basically the last column of our Google Sheet in which we are entering any data. So in the background, you can see column F is the last column in which we are entering some data. But in column F, after completing this automation, at last, we are going to update the audio file. So column E is going to be my trigger column because this is the column in which we are manually entering any data. And we want that as I enter any data or as I select any status in column E, the data of this complete row should be sent to Pabli Connect. So we are going to select column E as our trigger column over here and then click on this send test button. Now, as we click on send test, here you can see it is showing us that the test data is sent successfully. This means the data of the very first row after headers, data of row number two is now sent to Pabli Connect. So we will just click on this submit button over here. And after clicking on submit, it is showing us that the setup is configured successfully. Now just close this window. One second, go to extensions, Pabli Connect Webhooks and select this option of send on event. By selecting send on event, we are telling this Google Sheet, we are telling this add-on that whenever a new row of data is added till our trigger column, then immediately, instantly send that data to Pabli Connect. Now, after completing the setup on our Google Spreadsheet, we will get back to our Pabli Connect workflow. And here in the trigger step, you can see now we have received some response. And in this response, you will see the details of the very first row, the row, data of row number two from our Google Spreadsheet. We have the same voice ID which we have selected in the Google Sheet, that is EI2 Isabella. Then after that, here you can see we have the trigger column, the same trigger column as column E. We have the same text. Whatever text we have entered in our Google Sheet for transcription, the same text is received inside Pabli Connect. Then after that, here you can see the status as generate audio. So here on the response of the status, we are going to set up a filter condition that if we get the status as generate audio, only in that case, the automation will be continued and the audio file will be generated. If we have the status as draft, then in that case, the automation will not be continued. And we are going to set up this filter in a couple of minutes in the next step. Then here you can see we have the spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, and also the row index. So we have the data from row number two. We also have the response of language and file name over here, the same language and file name which we have entered. This means the step one of setting up this automation is completed where we have successfully connected our Google spreadsheet with Pabli Connect and received the response of the text and other details from our Google Sheet in our Pabli Connect workflow. Now after this, let's move to step two where we are going to add a filter condition in this automation workflow on the basis of status that if we get the response of status as generate audio, only in that case, the automation workflow will be continued after that. 
So to add the filter, we will just come to this action step and select filter Pabli over here. After selecting filter Pabli in action event from the drop down, select the action event as filter values. Then just click on connect. And after that, here it is asking us select label. So in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses of a new row, which we have received from Google Sheets in the trigger step. So from all of these responses, we are going to select the label of status over here. So this is the label of status, just select it. And then in filter type from this drop down, we are going to select equals to, and the value will be generate audio. So we are adding this filter condition that if the response of status is equals to generate audio, this particular text or this particular value, only in that case, the automation workflow will be continued further. Now we will just click on this save and send test request. And as we click on save and send test request, it is showing us that the condition is true. This means because we have received the status or we have added the status as generate audio over here in this response of row number two, that's why it is showing us that the status or the condition is true over here. So in this case, this automation workflow will be continued further. Now after this, let's move to the next step. And in the next step, the text which we have entered in our Google Sheet, we have to send this text to VoiceMaker and generate the audio or speech out of it. For that, just click on this Add Action Step button and then here in Choose App, search for VoiceMaker. Just select it. After selecting VoiceMaker in Action Event from the dropdown, select the Action Event Ads, Generate Audio. Then just click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now here we have to connect our VoiceMaker account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API key, the API token of our VoiceMaker account. Now you must be thinking how you will get this API token. So to get it, just go to your VoiceMaker account and after that, just go to my account and go to API keys. After coming to API keys here, either you will be having an existing API keys or by clicking on this generate new API key button, you can generate a new key as well. So just copy the API key from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And after pasting the API key, just click on save. And as we click on save, here you can see our VoiceMaker account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the engine. And here in engine, we have two options. Either we can select a standard engine or a neural engine. So using which engine we want to convert this text into speech, we have to select that. So I'm selecting neural engine over here. Then after that, what we have to do, it is asking us for the voice ID. So here in our VoiceMaker account, VoiceMaker offers different voice IDs. So different types of voices or different users' voices can be used to create the speech or create the audio. So what is the voice ID using which we want to create the speech? We have to select that. So I've basically entered some of these voice IDs over here in the Google Sheet in this field of voice ID. And here in this dropdown, you can see we have these options. So I've selected this particular voice ID of AI2 Isabel over here. And then here you can see in our Pabli Connect workflow in this trigger step from Google Sheet, we have received the response as well. So here in this response, we have received the same voice ID, AI2 Isabel. And we are going to map the same response of voice ID over here in this VoiceMaker field. So just click on this field. And here in this dropdown, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Google Sheets. So from Google Sheet responses, select the response of voice ID and map it. Now here guys, you have to ensure that whatever voice ID or whatever the name of the voice ID we have in our API doc in VoiceMaker, we have to basically enter the name in the exact same format over here. So here you can see AI is written in small cap and I of Isabella is written in upper cap and we have a hyphen between them. We have to enter the voice ID in the exact same format. So you can just refer to the API doc of VoiceMaker and from here you can select the voice of your choice and enter the list of those voices in this dropdown in the Google Sheet. Now, after mapping voice ID, it is asking us for the language code. So we have also entered the language code over here that is EN India, basically English India over here. So from Google Sheet responses, we are going to map the language code. And the process of mapping is very simple as we saw. Just click here and in this dropdown, you can see a list of all the responses from the previous step. So out of all of these responses, select the response of language code and map it. Then it is asking us for the accent code. So I don't want to add any accent code over here. That's why I'll just ignore this field for now. Then it is asking us for the text. So we have entered the text in our Google Sheet and we have received the Google Sheet responses inside Pabli Connect in the trigger step. So we'll just click on this field and from this trigger step responses, we are going to select the response of text for which we want to generate the speech or the audio and map it. Then it is asking us output format. In this dropdown, we have two options, MP3 and WAV. So I want the MP3 file, so I'm selecting MP3 over here. 
Then in response type, we have file or stream. So I want the file link over here. So I'm selecting file. Then it is asking us for the file store. So this field is not mandatory, not required. So I'll just ignore this field for now. Then it is asking us for the custom file name. So what will be the name of the file which we are basically creating, the name of the audio file. So we have also entered the audio file name in our Google Sheet. So from Google Sheet responses, we are going to select the response of file name and map it as well. Then it is asking us sample rate, effects, mastering settings. So all of these fields are not mandatory, are not required. So you can just refer to this API doc and learn that what are these fields for and you can enter the details as per your requirement in these fields. But right now I have basically entered all the necessary details and after that we will just click on this save and send test request button. Now as we click on save and send test request here you can see we have received the response and this response seems to be a positive response to us. In this response we have received this URL this link. We will just copy this link from here paste it in a new tab and then here you can see just now on my PC a file is downloaded. I'll just play it over here. Hello welcome to Pabli Connect. Using this automation between Google Sheets and VoiceMaker, you can automatically generate a personalized voiceover for each entry in your spreadsheet and upload audio files in Google Drive. So as you can see, this is the speech. This is the audio for the same text which we have entered in our Google spreadsheet. This means the step three of setting up this automation is also completed and using VoiceMaker, we have basically generated the speech or the audio for the same text as well. Now after this, we want to upload this same file in our Google Drive in the next step. So for that, we will just scroll down, click on this add action step button and then here in choose app, search for Google Drive. Just select it. After selecting Google Drive in action event from the drop down, select the action event as upload a file. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Google Drive account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this sign in with Google button. Here in this pop-up window, select your Google Drive account in which you want to upload the file. Just scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Google Drive account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the URL. That what is the URL? What is the link of the file which we want to upload in Google Drive? So in the previous step of VoiceMaker, we have received the URL, the link of the audio file generated by VoiceMaker. So from VoiceMaker responses, we are going to map this response of file URL into this Google Drive action step. And the process of mapping stays the same. Just click on this field of URL and from the drop down from VoiceMaker responses, select the response of URL of path and it will be mapped. Then it is asking us for the folder ID that in our Google Drive account, in which particular folder we want to upload the file. We have to enter the folder ID of that particular folder over here. So I have created a folder named as audio file from text to speech. So in this particular folder in Google Drive, I want to basically upload this file. And to get the folder ID here in the URL section after folder slash, you have this ID. This is your folder ID. Just copy this folder ID from the URL section and paste it over here. After pasting the folder ID, it is asking us for the file name. And we have to enter the file name with proper file extension. So from VoiceMaker, we don't get the response of file name, but in our Google Sheet, we have entered the name of the file. So we will just map the file name over here, and then we are going to enter the extension as MP3. Because in VoiceMaker, we have selected the file format as MP3. Now after mapping the file URL, folder ID, and giving the file name, just click on this Save and Send Test Request button. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see we are going to receive the response over here and the response is received. And this is a success response. This means the audio file which was generated by VoiceMaker is now uploaded on our Google Drive. So let's check it. We will just go to our Google Drive folder and yes, here you can see with the same name, the same audio file is uploaded on our Google Drive. So the step four of setting up this automation is also completed. Now after uploading the file in the next step, what I want to do, I want to upload the link of this Google Drive file which we have uploaded on our Google Drive in our Google spreadsheet. And so for that, we will just scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And then here in choose app, we'll just search for Google Drive once again. Just select it. After selecting Google Drive in action event from the drop down, select the action event as share a file with anyone. And then just click on connect. Now, because we have connected our Google Drive account in the previous step, we are not going to connect the same account once again. We can select the existing connection and click on save. And as we click on save, here you can see our Google Drive account will get connected with Pavli Connect once again. So in the previous step, after uploading the file, we haven't received any link and the URL of this Google Drive file. 
So using share a file with anyone, we are going to change the share permission of this file and also we'll get the URL, the link of the file as well. Now here it is asking us for the file ID. So in this drop down, you can see a list of all the files which we have in Google Drive. But using this automation, every time we are going to upload a new file and we will get a new file ID. So what we can do, just turn this mapping button on in front of it and clear this default response. And after that, from Google Drive, upload a file. From this step, we have received the response of uploaded file ID. Just select this response of uploaded file ID and map it over here. In this way, whatever file we are going to upload in the previous step, in the next step of share a file with anyone, we are going to change the share permission of the same file and also get the URL, the link of that file. And then just click on save and send test request. Now when we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. The share permission is changed to anyone with the link and we have the link of the same Google Drive file. I'll just copy this link, paste it in a new tab and here you can see the same Google Drive file will open in front of us. Now let's update this same link, add this same URL back in our Google Sheet in the same row. For that, just click on this add action step button over here and then here in choose app, search for Google Sheets. This is going to be the last step of our automation. Then after that here in action event from the drop down, select the action event as update cell value because we just want to update a value in a particular cell. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Google Sheets account with Public Connect, but this time in the action step. So just click on this sign in with Google button. Then after that from this pop up window, select your Google Sheets account, just scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see the Google Sheets account will get connected with Public Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is to select the spreadsheet. So in this drop down, you can see a list of all the spreadsheets which we have in our Google Sheets account. Out of all of these, the spreadsheet in which we are getting or we are entering the text to speech details is named as text to speech. So from this drop down, we are going to select the spreadsheet and also we are going to select the same sheet over here. As you can see, we have sheet one over here. Then it is asking us for the range that in which cell or in which row or column cell we want to basically update this data. Now, because we are entering the audio file URL in column F, I'm going to enter the range as column F. But every time for every text or for every new row of data, the row number will be keep on changing. Like here you can see we have F2 over here, then we will have F3, F4, F5. Similarly, the column is going to be the same. So we have manually entered the column name F over here. But because the row is going to be keep on changing, so from the trigger step of Google Sheet, we have received the response of row index, the row number. So from this trigger step response is, we are going to map the row number over here in the range field. We have manually entered the column and we have basically entered the row number over here in this way by mapping it from the trigger step responses. And then it is asking us for the value. In value from Google Drive's share a file with anyone responses, we want to update or add the response of the file URL, the Google Drive file URL. So we have mapped it. And after mapping all the details, just click on save and send test request. Now when we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response and this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that in this particular cell in our sheet, this particular value or link is added. So we'll just go to our Google Sheet and yes, here you can see the URL of the same file from our Google Drive is added over here. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Public Connect, this automation is successfully created and it is working perfectly fine. Now, after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once. For that, I'll just go to my Google Sheet and let me add some text over here. So I have just copied some text over here. I'll just paste it over here. Then I want the file name to be, for example, file. This will be the name of the file which we will be having in Google Drive. Then I want the language to be English India over here, the same language. Then the voice ID is, for example, KT this time. And then the status which I want is generate audio. Now, as I enter these details and select the status as generate audio, this automation workflow will trigger. And within a few seconds, we will get the audio or the speech for the same text which we have added. And the link of the file is automatically added in column F. And yes, here you can see the Google Drive file link is added. We'll just open this link over here, open this Google Drive file and try to play it once. Witness the breathtaking beauty of horses running free. So yes, here you can see we have this speech for the same text which we have added in our Google Sheet. So we have tested this automation in real time and this automation is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Public Connect. And one more important thing, 
you will find the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can just clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others. Or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at Also, you can post your queries on our forum as well. And if you want to check the pricing of Fabric Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.